Welcome everybody to the Insider Perks YouTube channel. My name is Brian Searle, the founder and CEO of Insider Perks. And today we're going to be talking about five proven strategies to boost your RV parks marketing. And what we're going to talk about today is the fundamentals. You know, there are so many things that you can do and get distracted with. There are so many companies who are telling you you have to do this or have to do that when it comes to marketing, advertising, or technology. But really, if you do these five fundamental things, you'll have a good foundation to build upon. And obviously, there are thousands of things that go on top of that, depending on where you're located and who your competition is. But these are the five things that you want to start with. So you can see in front of you is a Google map. What we're going to do for the purposes of my demonstration is choose a random U.S. city here. We are going to use the one in the bottom left hand corner that says Boise now, which was seen in one of my other videos. And we're just going to press this rerun five times and whatever city lands there we're going to use. That way you know that this is completely off the cuff, live and unscripted. So one, two, three, four, five. We've got Plano, Texas. So let's head on over to Google Maps here. We're going to go to Plano, Texas. And what we've got here is a city just outside of Dallas, north of Fort Worth. So pretty busy area, right? Uh, and it doesn't matter, again, where, where your park is located. All of these tips that I'm about to give you mean the same thing. So by now, at this point, you should already have figured out who your audience is for your campground. If you have not figured that out, then that is going to be number one for our RV park marketing tips. Five proven strategies. Number one is to understand who your audience is. So we've done a video on this previously. You can go check that out. But for the basic point of it is you need to understand in this case for Plano, Texas, why are people coming to Plano, Texas, where my campground is located? Why do they want to stay in a campground or RV park or glamping resort or cabin rentals or whatever it is near Plano? Once you figure that out, that is your target audience. That is what you're going to build and all your messaging around on your website, Google ads, SEO, everything else. You have to understand that that is the number one thing. Number two is we need to make sure we have a landing page up online. So let's look here. We're going to pick somebody random. We're just going to type campground in and see what comes up. So we're going to look at, uh, let's see if we can find one that might be a, uh, a busy park here, the Vineyards Cabin and Campground. So hopefully the Vineyards uh, Cabin and Campgrounds isn't going to do anything wrong here that we're going to pick on. But let's look at them in their website. So what you want to do here, tip number two, is make sure you have one of these, campground website or campground landing page. Now, there's a couple different scenarios that might come up here, right? One is you're building a brand new campground. You're developing a brand new park. You need to make sure that you have a landing page at least six months before you plan to open the doors, so to speak, on that campground, RV resort, glamping resort, whatever you are building, so that people can begin to find you. It doesn't have to be a full website in the beginning, just needs to be a landing page. If you are buying a campground or an RV park and you're choosing to rebrand that as a different name, then you need to make sure that you have something here that people can browse that communicates what that new name is. You do not want to announce that new name and say a website is coming soon. You want to be able to explain to people through storytelling, visuals, fonts, graphics, branding, what that is and why they should care. Three is if you're just purchasing a campground or perhaps you already own one and have owned one for a while, then you need to make sure that your website is a good online presence, period. Okay? So number one is identifying your target audience. Number two is having a website or landing page. Number three is making sure that website or landing page can be found. In order to do that, the first step and number three in our list is making sure that you have basic SEO. You need to make sure that not just this design is pretty because that is only 10% of what goes in to getting someone to find your property. Once they're on your website, the design matters. They have to get to your website first, which means you have to know search engine optimization. You cannot guess. You cannot just throw up a website and then figure it out later. This is how people are going to find you. So if you're not willing to learn it yourself, you need to hire someone, whether that's Insider Perks or another marketing agency or your best friend's cousin's third brother. You've got to hire somebody who knows about SEO. If you don't want to hire somebody, then you need to devote the time to learn it yourself. Certainly much easier today with tools like Google and by going to ChatGPT and saying, 
what do I need to know about the basics of SEO for my campground? It will give you an answer. It may not be the best one, but if it's something that you're willing to do, then you definitely need to teach yourself. So we've got that. Number one is target audience. Number two is our website and landing page. Number three is making sure that we have the fundamentals of SEO down. Number four is making sure we're working on directory listings and citations. So a directory listing and citation is exactly what it sounds like. It is a backlink or a NAP, a name, address, and phone number. So it is anywhere in the case of our wonderful example park here who didn't volunteer, but is being volunteered anyway, the Vineyards Campground and Cabins on Grapevine Lake. Let's scroll to the bottom here and see this. They are located at 1501 North Dewey Street in Grapevine, Texas, 76051. So anywhere that this name, exactly as it is, along, and keep that in mind, exactly as it is, don't mess with your name. Your name is your name. It's the same everywhere. It's important for SEO. Name, address, phone number, and website link back to the vineyardscampground.com which is the website that we are on right now. That is anywhere like your Google business listing that you should claim for free. It is anywhere where you create a social media account like Facebook and Instagram, and you put those details on there. It is literally anywhere on the internet. Dozens and dozens of directory listings like the Dirt or Rover Pass or MapQuest or Bing or Apple Maps or on and on and on that these details appear next to each other. It's called a citation. It's the same thing as a vote in Google's eyes for you. It's a brand mention. It shows to Google that you are established, you're reliable, you're out there. They're more comfortable ranking you. And it must have a backlink too because that's gonna be the foundation for getting your park discovered, especially if you're a new brand, you've chosen to change the name, the domain name, or you're developing something that never existed before. Work on these for you. Now there are agencies like Insider Perks who will do this for you and do it very well. Certainly that you can do this yourself. It is a massive amount of time you have to devote to this, but there's nothing that we do that is proprietary or secret. You just have to go register and create all these profiles and fill them all out and make sure they're SEO optimized and make sure the name, address, and phone number is the same and your hours of operation and your payment methods and everything else is on them. If you don't want to do that and that sounds horrific, then you should hire someone to do it for you. Don't use a service like Yext. Yext is a sync service. Yext does not work as well as they claim it does for SEO. Do it all manually. Get your usernames and passwords. So. Now we've got number one is identifying your target audience. Number two is building up a website or landing page. Number three is working on basic, basic, basic SEO, which trust me goes way beyond that. Number four is naps and citations. And number five is social media. Five is telling your story, whatever your story is. In the beginning, if you're developing a brand new campground, you have no audience on Facebook. That is okay. Talk to people who aren't there, but will be there in the future. Tell your story. Show pictures of your construction, of the new bathroom you're building. Talk to people on camera as the owner. Stick a camera in your face and say, hey, I'm Bob. I'm super excited to be here, and we're building this campground, and this is what's going to be in this specific section. We're excited to see you soon. It doesn't have to be professional. It doesn't have to be super edited and polished. It just has to be authentic. Be on social media. Share your story. If you're rebranding, the story is why you're rebranding. What is the reason for you rebranding? Tell your story on social media. If you're taking over a park and keeping it the same, tell your story. Are you either going to continue what the previous owner did because everyone loved it? Or are you going to change that because they didn't love it? You've got a story to tell. Tell it on social media. Do not overthink it. Just go on there and share interesting tidbits about what is happening. Day-to-day -day lives, area attractions, things like that. So let's wrap it up. Five proven market strategies, marketing strategies to boost your RV park success. Number one is identify your target audience. Number two, build a website or landing page. Number three, basic SEO. Number four, directory listings and citations. And number five, social media, Facebook, Instagram, wherever else. And that's it. You're well on your way then to number six through 250,000, depending on what you need. So Good luck, guys. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.